let's see um, get start time and get end time okay so I'm um, just yeah and other um, Let's, let's move I'm gonna just upload it I can't upload it straight to a um, straight to a plugin but never mind straight to alrighty so now what now is there anything you guys want to um, want to want want to know about the, sh the script I think I'm on my on my discord yeah I'm on my discord Just gonna see. I really like this script. Yeah. Oh wait. So it kind of it doesn't really put the iron back in your inventory. I should make it like put. put I should make it like put the iron back into your inventory instead of spewing out. And I think all this is is just a glitched. Yeah. I think. Okay. I think that's just one set there. Um, so it kind of takes off and puts the set that you already have into already into your inventory. All right, let's see what else we have. Natsu, are you still watching? Okay, so now what do we do? Um, you can have one um, one GUI per server you go on. So, for example, I'm on zelcraft.net. I have my zelcraft.net GUI here, and when I go to Cubecraft, I have my um, Cubecraft GUI. It's not it's not there in the screen in the stream description. All right. Um, So if I'm gonna just put my armor back, um, wait. Uh, oh yeah, I was talking about on on the config change. So that's uh, so that's in the events. So all all these events can trigger a script to run. Uh, so you can have the on config change. If I can find it, uh, on config change. Can ah uh, there it is. It, on config change, it'll go on config change my server dot txt. So I'm gonna go to that script. It's actually a very long name for the script, so, and go check it out. So on config change my server txt. I can't remember which one it was. They're both the same. Um, config up for my server loaded. Oh, that's not that, that's the B. So that's not the one. Uh, that's not the one I want. It's the one just above it. There you go. And I'll say server config loaded. Uh, I'm gonna just make it say um, and nine. And l zelcraft dot net config loaded. Um, you don't have to make it bind GUIs when you join. You can also make it uh, log. You can make it. You can make it do basically anything. You can make when you join. You when you first join, you can also make it automatically do commands. So I could make it say echo say hello everybody. Everybody, this is my on join uh, script script uh, on join script 
So now, when I leave and um, and join, so let's just leave the server. So disconnect and reconnect. It will say, "Hello, everybody. This is my on join script." In chat, right there after zelkov.net config loaded, you can see you can see in blue here the zelkov.net config is loaded. All right, so that's the um, that's the script for when you first join the server. I'm I'm going to change it now. I I don't want I don't want people to see that message. So I am keeping the zelkov.net config loaded. Um, I'm also going to make it log other stuff. So now let's make it um, and a and let's make it load a bunch of lines here. And here. So now when I when when I now when I re, now when I reload and log into the server, it'll load up that config. Now what is a config? Because of course the Zelkov config is loaded. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. But um, what does it allow you to do? Well, it allows you to change the screens. So per config, so if I was going to the GUI editor, go here, you can you know set the screen display name. The screen display is basically these buttons. Um, each button has its own function. Like I onto this GUI button, for example, one that displays the different colors, the chat formatting, the item IDs, and the item colors. Um, now, if I was, for example, to just go just go to KubeCraft for a sec. Um, it will say in chat kubecraft config loaded and I would have these buttons here and let's disconnect and go back to my server it will have the zelcraft config loaded you know as I asked it to to do it um, Um, Alright, so it did. It cleared out my inventory, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so what was I? Oh yeah, config change. Right, 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 right. So yeah, the config changes. So it's in the edit key bindings. You want to go to the GUI editor here. You don't want to click this button. You want to click uh, this button here, and you'll be taken to this screen where you have screen assignments, and you'll have. All the different screens, you know, that what's the screen? A screen is basically uh, multiple buttons. So if I was to change the screen, for example, uh, I think you can change the screen here. No, you you can't. Um, let's 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 just go back and change the screen uh, settings, buttons, events, settings, uh, GUI editor. So if I was to just take the um, uh, the CubeCraft and put it in my playback. I would have kubecraft here instead of the other thing. So this is temporary, but I would have my kubecraft screen over here. Of course the buttons don't work because they're not configured. Um, just unban me. But you are unbanned, whatever. Um, Um, anyways, uh, forgot what to say. Um, yeah, so I have this screen. So if I was to disconnect and reconnect, because of the config change, I already preset the con. I made the config so that it automatically puts back my own Zelcraft.net screen when I join the designated server. Now this is very useful, you know, so you can have your per server screens. Um, instead of like the same screen on every server you go to, so let's uh, go. Uh, let's go to the GUI screen editor. I think it's in the text editor actually, where you go on config change my server. 
this is where you bind the GUIs. So you have the in chat, which is slot. I'm going to bind the screen in chat my server. And on the playback slot, I have the playback playback for my server. So what's it, what it's doing is, go with me a sec. What it's doing is looking through the available screens and looking through the different slots. And, it'll, and I'm asking it to put this screen into that slot here. So it's asking me to like move this screen into that slot. That's what I'm asking it to do. Move uh, the in chat my server screen to the in chat slot. So let's just have a look at the um, at the screen again. So uh, it wasn't there. It was the actual script itself. So there you go. It's binding the GUI 